Hey guys, so I haven't been uh, making an update video for such a long time, but I thought that today I'd make one, so yeah, I haven't been making videos due to, you know, just assignments, tests, and you know, that sort of stuff, but they're all out of the way now, until next um, term where, where I have my end of year exams. So yeah, so so far with us, see where I'm up to is the Stampede, just love it. Um, you may have seen my upgrade video for the rare shocks, how I got the aluminium ones. Um, I also got some for the front. I'll take the body off in a second. I'll just see what I've been what I've been doing with the body. As you can see, I got some duct tape all over it. That's just for protection. You know, it doesn't. Eh, it does. It looks a little bit, you know, weird, but at least you know it looks better with the body on. Uh, so yeah, I'll just pop the body off. So yeah, um, so I also got the aluminium ones for the front because, you know, it just looks way better now. Um, and yeah, uh, I'd like to get, um, I may, I might spray paint these ones maybe like a matte black or something, and it's also the back ones. The black chrome does look pretty good, but I just don't like this, the, just the chrome ones. Doesn't, that's not my, it's just not my style, I don't like it. Um, for the past couple of weeks, um, the stampede has been going through hell. Like four weeks ago, I took the car, I took the, I took the stampede to a um, RC track, and it, it had just finished raining then. And far, oh, far out, the, the car was a mess. It was an absolute mess. But nothing. Actually, no. Something did break. I broke the shock cap, so that's why I replaced them with aluminium ones. Over here, um, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I got a new desk. This is a whole new table. You know, um, I'll get back to the rear bumper on the stampede later. Uh, but yeah, um, so the shocks, you know, they're all in there. I'll show you the one that I broke, actually. actually I think it's this one, but yeah. So with like you know it was like I think it was my last jump before I left the track, I just broke that, which you know nothing major. It was, you know me jumping it and bashing it and doing all that sort of stuff. So yeah, I wasn't really um, disappointed or anything. Um, got my batteries. Um, so I got a thirty six hundred Redback seven point two volt. I got a Wolfpack 8.4 volt 330, wait, yeah, 3000, sorry. Um, I've got a 3000 7.2 volt, and those two batteries are dead. They do not charge, but still hanging on to them. Um, at the back over there, I've got some of my boxes, and yeah, and by the way, this charger is a, this charger I got for an absolute bargain. I just had to replace it with the old dynamite one. Um, this uh, charges one amp, hold on, let me focus it. 1 amp, 2 amp, and 4 amp. Um, so, yeah, I have no, I have no, this is a, it, it is a DC um, uh, charger. I got the big charger up there, charging. Uh, so, yeah. Um, and, yeah, on this side, we got the warhead. Got an RC, mini, mini RC plane. You know, some epoxy, some glue, just some, in that bag, got some screws. Got some duct tape over there, some wheels and tires, some mini RC cars, my warranties, all that stuff, a box of spares, all that, you know, sort of stuff. That box is my, is the spares for the Stampede. I've got an A-arm, a shock tower, front A-arm and rear A-arm. And yeah, um, over here, you know, got my tools, that's my toolbox. Got a lot of tools in there. Whenever I go to the track, I usually take that box with me, that's the main one. Just in, just in case the screw comes loose. And at the bottom I've got my boxes on this side. So yeah. Um, also got some tires up there. They're the good tires. Well, those ones I don't like. But these ones are pretty good. These ones came stock on the um, Mad Monkey. Which and uh, now I got the... I got some Warhead ones on there at the moment. Because I don't, I don't want to wear those ones out. I want to save them for whenever I go to a proper track. And yeah. Uh, so yeah guys, oh yeah, right, let's get to the, um, rare bumper. This is just, I got, I got this bumper off a toy grade RC, 
and I just, you know, use some zip ties and everything. This also acts as a wheelie bar. I don't care if it scrapes as long as it doesn't um, damage my gearbox. My, de my gearbox is still good. Um, and yeah, now this car, uh, yeah, but I put in a, I think that's a seven, 16 or 17 tooth pinion gear in there. And a 56 um, tooth spur. Um, so, and yeah, I also got a... I got a proper servo saver at the bottom because I have went through every single um, I went through every single servo horn that came with that oh sorry about that with the, every single servo horn that came with this servo right and because it's just so strong every time I done a cartwheel it would just snap and that's it and I had to go make another one um, and so yeah I just thought you know the stuff I'm just gonna get one of them so yeah, and also what I also what I also ordered is in my stampede spare one. So you know, like I said, we got a one for the front. We got a left one. This is so left left one for the back. I got some screws and some. Oh yeah, that's right. I got some caster blocks and that you know, sort of stuff. Here's a shock tower. I uh, got a bumper. This is this is a pretty good condition bumper. I'm using the one that isn't in such good condition bumper. I have a just some screws for if I do get a wheelie bar, which I'm pretty sure I'll get some soon. I got some bearing wait, what is this? Uh thrust. Yep, thrust, bearing grease. And in there alright, oh, hold on, hold on. I got a fifteen centimeter I think so this was a fifteen centimeter servo extension wire. Um, I got some four, I got four extra bearings for the Stampede. Um, I also have, oh, I got a bind plug for some reason there. And the rest I have, I have this. And this. This is what I ordered. An alloy, um, servo saver, servo arm, sorry. And the rest, you can see, there's a whole lot, a lot of bushings in there. I also got some of the, um, the I got two extra bearings for the answerman because that did come with, um, it came with bushings, and I do not like bushings. So yeah, if you guys, if you guys have a car that has bushings in there, I highly recommend just throw them out and get some bearings. Bearings are the best. Like just look, look at this. Just touch it, and it'll be spinning for ages. Well, anyway, guys, this is the um, update. You know, new desk, everything. I'll probably have a bench, bench workshop, something update coming up soon. And you know, all the all the spares I have, all the tools, what I use for my RCs, and all that stuff. So, yeah, guys, um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please thumbs up. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.